Hey there, this is my friend Sarah Taylor Silverwood who is making waves in the world of British drawing, isn't that right? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and we have come to the Birmingham Museum of Art behind me to have a look at one of your drawings, which That's is right. a big kind of cityscape. It is, it's a big view of Birmingham. It's amazing, come and have a look. <laughs> So this drawing is called As Time Goes By and it's the view from the Dome of Birmingham Cathedral. And the reason I chose this view is because in 1821 a painter called Samuel Lines uh, painted this exact view. And you can see here there's the original painting. I have to make sure that I have the exact same view. So I got this old map from 1819, a view of Birmingham, and I apply, I made sure that the angles um, that the original painting were done from were the exact same angles that I was working from. So these arrows represent these two streets in the in the drawing. So I could make sure that the view was exactly the same. Well, Sarah, the thing that I really notice about this is this tracing paper involved. Yes. And it looks like it's done on layers. It is, yeah. There's actually five layers of tracing paper. Um, so there's five layers of tracing paper, and each layer is a different uh, part of the landscape. So the very, very sort of front of these buildings is done on the top layer. Uh, kind of rooftops, and next buildings along, the next sort of few uh, hundred meters or so is done on the second layer and so on until you get back to the very back which you can hardly see but there's the kind of the kind of misty buildings right in the background are done on the fifth layer and i also noticed you got funny little things way in the back you can hardly see like spaceships <laughs> yeah there's <laughs> and, a few sort of balloons things. i think is that the moon up there yeah? it is yes and, and there's and the superman, superman flying <laughs> And why, why have you put those things in there? <laughs> I can see, see here the very faint, I can see the words play it again Sam. Yes, well the, that relates to the title, it's called As Time Goes By um, because it's, that's the song actually from Casablanca um, and it, the words from that song are all about the idea of things changing over time but also things staying the same so that felt like a really appropriate title. But the famous kind of quote, play it again, Sam, which is based on the film, is about, in the film, Sam plays the song as time goes by. And I thought it related really nicely to the fact that the original artist is called Sam. Oh, right. Sam okay. and Lyme, so yep. that's why it went in. Good. In there. I like that. So being an illustrator, I just draw pictures, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas you're, you're bringing all these um, elements and things, and, and down here there are all these people. Yeah, so when I was... They're all doing things. When I was... Um, I make a lot of drawings just day to day of people in the street, of people in Birmingham. And I'd, I'd had a sort of sketchbook of bit, and bits of paper of just people in the street. So I've been drawing... These, these people are all kind of based on drawings that I've made of people wandering around Birmingham in 2013. Um, but they also kind of inevitably relate to some of the kind of things that were happening in the news as well. So I noticed that there was a lot of people campaigning as a Syria appeal, for example. Mm -hmm. So I've got those people there. But I've also kind of made it into... News, not boo. Yeah, that's the uh, No More Page 3 protest. Oh, right, yeah. So they were in the street, but I kind of moved it slightly more into the realms of fantasy. Yeah, and, and we've got a cowboy on a horse. You have. That's, that's actually Rick from The Walking Dead, because The Walking Dead is really in the news a lot of the time. Okay. And then we've got things, other things that were happening around the time that the, paint, the, the drawing was made. So we've got the new Pope. Oh, right. He's up there. We've got you said you had Miley Cyrus yeah, somewhere. Is it's a bit like where's Wally? Yeah. Um, there she is. Where's there's Miley? Miley? There she is, Miley Cyrus. <laughs> and I noticed there was a sign up here saying something about twerk here. That's yeah. Right. <laughs> it's, so it's all kind of relating to things that were happening yeah. in the news and in the media in 2013 to really kind of make it of its time. Fantastic. And how long did this take you to draw? I think it probably took uh, about three weeks working many hours a day, I think, many days a week. Yeah, yeah it looks like it. So probably about 
about 10 pens, I'd say, went through. <laughs> and what, because everybody wants to know, what pens do you use? I'm a big fan right. yeah. of the Pigma Micron, yeah. and in particular, the 005. Yeah. This particular one was made using the Unipen Vino. That's right. my pen of choice, actually. Okay. Um, and I used the 0.05 uh, Unipen. However, I do often use these uh, Pigma Micro, yeah. which are archival link. Yeah. And, but I do find actually that if you look after a long period of time, you can kind of see that these are actually slightly redder than these ones. Yes. Um, and I'm also a big fan of these Copic Chow. Which I use a lot. They're fantastic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're basically like, it's almost like using watercolour. Yes. And something this pale, you, put, like, you can see, doesn't make any difference. Yeah. It's fantastic for blending. Yes. That's why I love these. It's basically. Um, it's basically just like using water. But yeah, and you can get kind of shades of grey sets as you well, can, can't yeah. you? Yeah. Um, I generally stick with the, the white, but I order very, very pale grey. Yeah. Thanks, Sarah. Did you say the original painting is here? It is. It's just through there. Finish. Yeah, let's go. This okay. is the original painting by Samuel Nines, um, and it was made in 1821. And what was so interesting about what he was doing then is that he knew that there was a big change coming. He knew that all of this green um, land was going to be built upon in the next couple of years. So he was making it because he was sort of predicting a massive change. Um, and that's kind of the reason that I wanted to make the drawing is that the I knew that there's lots of building going on at the moment. There's a new there's a tram line coming there, right in front of all those people. There is, there's yeah. a big tram line and yeah. there's the new high speed railway. So Birmingham's also, again, uh, nearly 200 years later, is in this big period of transition. Mm -hmm. And do you think 200 years' time, someone will be standing here with your drawing and this drawing and their drawing next to it? I hope so, that would be a nice And it'll all be, you know, space <laughs> bubbles or something. Yeah, there'll be hovercrafts. <laughs> yeah. Hovercraft. yeah. <laughs> cool. Fantastic. And is that church still there? No. No. No, that one's gone. It, yeah. So we are actually standing, I think, about here. Right. I think. Yeah. Well, I thought that was fascinating, uh, particularly about the transparency uh, idea of using tracing paper. And I'm really sorry about the sound quality on that. The My microphone battery was running out, but I replaced it and uh, put new rubber bands on uh, my microphone. And we went up to the library um, and uh, we looked out over Birmingham and we did some drawing. And uh, you'll be able to see that in the next two videos because we also went to, into the bull ring and did some drawing there as well. Uh, and the next two videos, um, Sarah and I will just be drawing and talking about buildings, talking about ideas, drawing, talking about... I think you'll find Sarah's ideas about drawing are really fascinating and you'll want to come back for the next two videos. Uh, so we'll see you there. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did and you want to do some building drawings with me and Sarah, then go and check out my Perspective 101 course and learn a bit about perspective. Uh, or just try the mystery drawing. Either way, make sure you're subscribed to the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel with, well, trying to do new drawing videos Monday and Friday at the moment. It's a bit difficult. Uh, in the meantime, go and check out my website, Shoe Rainer Drawing. And uh, in the meantime, meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time with Sarah on the next video. You take care now. Bye-bye.